Hello, trumpet player friends. We're going to be going over with the song Cuckoo today. You get to it by the drop-in page on 9.30 video response. When you click on it, it'll bring it into another page. When you go to record, make sure you have this piece of music put onto the right-hand side of your screen or the left-hand side of the screen. Um, pull the tab out and make it small so that you can see the sheet music at the same time as you can see the recorder. Okay, you can make both of them small by clicking on the minimize button and shrinking them. See what I'm doing there? All right, let's go through the song itself and uh, hear how it sounds. And then I'll go through the rhythms and I'll go through the uh, letter names and how to play. So here we go from the top. <clears throat> One, two, three. <laughs> If you made it that far, good job um, as you were listening. Now, what we're going to do is talk about the rhythms. So when you look at the song, you've got half notes. Where are the half notes? Is this the half note or is this the half note? The second one. That's right. These ones here are called half notes. And we have half notes almost the entire time. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven half notes. And then the other rhythm that you see in the song are what's? whole notes, right? Whole note, whole note. So when you go to count this, you're going to want to count in your brain starting to use the, the band speak method, which is going to be sounding like this. Uh, one, three, one, off, off. One, three, one. You remember that whole notes get four beats. Make sure that you feel those as um, two beat holds. One, three, one. Okay. When you get to the breath mark, this little apostrophe thing, it means take the breath quickly before you get to the next measure. Good. Um, and this thing here, don't forget, is a half rest. It's two beats long. When you get here to the half notes, you have six of them in a row, so you're just going to count. One, three, one, three. Breath. One, three. One. Okay, so now that you've heard it counted, you've heard the song played, now it's time to talk through the fingerings and the note names. What is this letter called? It's a G, right? And how do we play G? Open, right, open, no fingers. Try that note with me real quick. Pause the video, you try it. If you can't quite reach that note, remember, High tongue over the center of the mouth so no air escapes into the sides. Firm-ish lips. And when you go to blow, it's coming through the center of the lips. Nope. Squeeze them right in the center to try to make that note speak out. Like that. Okay. So now, uh, if that G is happening for you, great. If it's not happening, keep working on it. Keep going with the lesson, though. Let's get the rest of these notes in check. This next note is an E, right? And how do we play it? One and two. All right. Okay, good. So... Practice those three notes in a row. Da, da, da. And do that as many times as you need to until you feel good about it. Go slow, go fast, get it to my tempo. And then when we go to the next measure, right here where my cursor is, G, what's this one? F. It's the first note we ever learned. It's first button, remember? There's that F. Ends on the E. So do that together.
easy peasy. If it's not easy, take it slow, do one at a time, break it down, make it as small chunks as you can. We want this to feel easy and comfortable, not stressful and hard. <clears throat> so now that you've gotten those first four measures down, you're really set up well for the last bit. The last bit is just going to be simply um, making sure that you can coordinate your fingers in your air to get those notes to speak when you want to. So starting here on this G, we're going to rock between G and E uh, two times in a row. G, E, G, E, breath mark, F, right, G, E, and so in time, breath mark, the thing that students have trouble with um, is being able to execute that in one passage. So I would suggest singing and playing or blowing and playing like this. Like that. Um, if you're able to pull that off, uh, then it's time to start coordinating the lips. Try maybe pulling it away. And once you've got that, then try it with the on the lips. If it's not coming out for you perfect every single time, that just means you need to spend more time on it. Um, if you can get this note one time, then you can play it two times. You just need to work on it more often. You know what I mean? Um, so when you're playing brass instruments, you can't be in a rush to get to the end. You have to be in a rush to sound awesome. So if that means one note, that means one note. If that means two notes, great. Keep doing that until it's automatic and you don't have to think about it so much. Brass instruments are hard in that respect because we have to control everything here and with the inside of that tongue. Okay. If you don't do that, you're going to have trouble. Um, it's not it's not like a woodwind instrument where you can just put it into the mouth and push the right button and it comes out. Um, it's hard, harder in that respect. Okay, let's do the entire song from beginning to end. Here we go. One, two, three. Rest, rest. Okay, so that was fast. You don't have to take it that tempo. You can play it slower if you need to. Um, the big thing is making sure that you remember to record this in Canvas in the 9.30 um, Cuckoo Assignment video response using the instructions that I've given you for how to record in Canvas. Um, yeah, you're going to be great. Uh, hit me up in office hours or with Canvas message examples if you have any issues, and I'll be happy to give you some advice. Okay, Y'all are amazing. Keep up the good work. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.